Asian Babes, uh, Loudmouth Asian Babes, tell mm. me a bit about that. Uh, so Loudmouth Asian Babes was a, my own little company that I started to do shows with uh, at Fringe. I did uh, a play about uh, um, Korean identity and going back to Korea for the first time, going to China and with Loudmouth Asian Babes in, I think it was 95, and then I did all of my, developing all of the Yoko Ono project was through Loudmouth right. Asian Babes. And, I did a show called Spite at Summerworks uh, after Mike Harris got in, and which uh, starts out with a woman in it with me. I, that, that one I wrote for me. It was, I was uh, in a wedding dress with a knife in my heart. And uh, so it was about romantic betrayal, but also about um, when the, in the end, when, when she gets the, the knife out of her, out of her heart. <laughs> the last bit of it is this fantasy of downsizing Mike Harris because who needs two kidneys when you can sell one on the black market? And you took the show. Wait a minute, you took. One I did of the that shows at Summerworks. Oh no, no, I didn't take. Yeah, you didn't I take the China. No, no, I did them for my own pleasure. So I saw that you also taught English mm -hmm. to uh, Chinese students. Whatever. Yeah. At Banff, Edmonton, County. Where so it was. I, I taught English. Uh, as a second language in Edmonton, on a volunteer basis, as a way to just keep myself going. This is after you quit. After I quit after acting. After the 70s and, stuff and yeah. away we go. But before that, I taught English. In 86, 87, I went to a city called Yanji in, in Jilin province in, um, in northwestern China. Um, it's, part, it's the capital of the Korean minority zone of China. So I taught there in 86, 87, at a time when there were only 11 foreigners in that city and most of the traffic was bicycles, donkeys and occasionally Vespas and then if there were cars, minivans, they were owned by like a school would have its own minivan, a company, the, the electric company would have like two minivans.